Hi everybody, um, this is Shane R. Monroe, and uh, I'm going to show you how to do a little video editing here with um, Corel Video Studio. This is the 2018 edition, your version may be similar. So what I'm looking to do here today is uh, take a foreign version of a film. Um, it's the only one available in high definition for the movie No Escape, um, but unfortunately it wasn't called that, and the only place that did release it in any sort of a high definition at all, um, well, I'll show you. So I'm going to grab that video and throw it on my video timeline. Now, as you can see, um, yeah, well, there's a watermark there, but that's another story. But as you can see, the text opens with, um, I'm assuming that's Spanish. And the title of the film is also, well, see, now it goes back to English. English, English. And then when it actually comes up with the title of the film, it's called Escape to Absalom. Well, it's actually called in America, it's called No Escape. So what I want to do is uh, we're going to start by getting rid of that title and um, using the No Escape title. So I've already done some preliminary work here. Um, I've already looked up the font. I have essentially took a screen capture of this and fed it to uh, a font matching facility. And I found a font that's as close as I can get without having to pay $50 for the royalties of it. It's close, but it's not perfect. <clears throat> and then uh, we need to do a little color matching. So let's do that first. I'm going to go ahead and make this big. I'm going to grab a copy of this with green shot. I'm going to copy it to the clipboard. I'm going to jump over to Paint Shop Pro. Okay. I'm going to jump over to Paint Shop Pro. I'm going to paste it in here. And then I'm going to use the color capture tool to try to get one of these darker colors in here. Um, probably somewhere in that range. Um, yeah, I'm going to grab this HTML code, color code for that. Out you go. There are tools that you can use to catch any color on the screen, but I'm just going to kind of approximate here. And I've already uh, set the font. I've got the font installed on my computer now, and I've actually already made the font track down here under the title track. Um, so I created a title, and as you can see, it's no escape, but it's a little bit on the wrong color side. Um, so I can select it. I'm going to change the color, Corel Color Picker. I'm going to paste in the color that I have. That's pretty close, right? I mean, uh, no one's going to be looking that close. Um, but the problem with that is, of course, is that it's surrounded by other fonts, other text, uh, Ray Liotta's name, for example. And then once it's done with the title, it jumps right into uh, the other people that are starring in it. So I have to be kind of careful to match the color and the tone properly. All right, so let's uh, pop that, turn that back on. I've already put some marks here too, by the way, if you hadn't noticed that, I put some marks around this and I'll show you why in a minute. All right, so uh, we take a look at this. Okay, there's a fade in, so we could duplicate that, but most people probably won't know that. All right, well, okay, that's obviously not gonna do because um, we can't have that old title there. So how are we gonna get rid of it? Well, we'll use an old cut and paste trick, right? So I'm gonna grab, I've got some reference here um, see this a whole area right here where nothing's moving. Nothing right in there. See it? So I'm going to go here and I, as soon as that title's gone, I'm going to split it. And then I'm going to find the next segment about there. That gives me a good amount of time. We're going to split it and I'm going to grab this chunk that I just cut off. And paste it right down here. So now essentially what I have is an empty piece of this background. Right? So it's a old studio trick. Oh, look at that. So we've got the background and no text. Well, of course it comes back on because there's a fade in there. So what we're going to do is, is uh, we got a bunch of different ways we could do this. First of all, let's mute the audio in here so that there's no chance of it duplicating. Now you're probably thinking, why don't you stretch that on over there? But because it's a piece of the other video, it will look at that as if you want this whole time frame in here. So we can't really do that. But we can do a couple of other little tricks instead. We can go in here. There's nothing really moving, but we want to keep the illusion of movement, right? Even though uh, the frame really isn't changing much, there's probably just slight uh, coloring differences, and we actually want to preserve that. So we're going to go in here. We're going to do some time remapping. Sorry, wrong one. We're going to do some uh, speed time lapse, and we're going to take this up to, I don't know, about 45 seconds. Oops, I don't know why that did that. Not one. 
Let's take this to about 45 seconds or whatever. 115 is fine, but you'll get the idea. And then what it'll do is it'll stretch the time out on that video clip. Great. So now, if we really want to see everything, we can shut that video clip off and uh, just see what this looks like as we run across it. Yeah, that looks good. Perfect. Now we still need a little bit more in here. So in order to meet our timeline, so let me turn this video back on. And um, as you can see, oh, let me shrink this down. Oh, this is okay. So as you can see, I put a tick here and I put a tick here and I also split the video right there. So it's kind of obvious. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. And I'm just going to clone it. It's pretty dang close, right? It's like, okay, well, there's a little tiny piece left. So I'm going to grab this original piece because it's closer to the right size. And it's closer to this. So this color approximation right at the end of the frame here is going to be as close to this one as possible. So what I want to do is, um, I'm going to zoom in here. This is a, another old trick is to make it match as closely as possible. So what we'll do is, is we're going to split this where I'm pretty sure that it's close-ish right in there. I'm going to split this one off. I'm going to take off the first piece and I'm going to move this over. Look at that. I, that was just a guess. The snapping probably helped. So now what we have here, this very last frame in this overlay is going to be really close to the color of the frame here. If I were to pick the front of this, the coloring might be a little bit different. But this little fool is going to, they're going to be tricked right here because this frame color transition. And then um, we got this other one. Knock that off. All right, perfect. So now what we have here is, I'm pretty sure, a complete replacement of that title. Let me zoom back out here so we have a little more room to work. So let's go back here and check it out. I'd say not bad. Now you probably notice, uh, let me stop that. So you probably notice there was some color changes here. And as it's playing, it's doing this coloring back and forth. Watch this play it, it turns light, and when you stop it, it goes back to being dark. Now, you may or may not see that in the final video. Unfortunately, when you're in sort of a preview mode, um, you can be tricked by the preview window. So what you really need to do once you've done something like this is you need to render a piece of this video out and test it, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to shrink the preview window. This is the uh, project itself. We're going to get right to there, right, because there's Ray Liotta's name. I will go a little earlier, and then I'm going to make the end piece of that. Yeah, just, a, just to get a few names in there, right? Okay, so now I've shrunk the actual project. And why do I do that? Because I'm going to share, and I'm only going to create this preview range, which is what you see right here. And I'm going to enable Smart Render, so if you do this over and over again, it'll try to keep as much as possible. And I'm going to go ahead and start it. If not, it would try to render the whole video, but 53 seconds is a lot better, and it'll get us what we want. So quickie preview here. As you can see, it went faster at the beginning because of the smart render. I've already done this before, okay. And let's see what we got. Let me open my drive up over here. All right, let's open it up in VLC and see what we got. I don't know, that looks pretty good to me. How about to you guys? Now, if you're looking really, really close, right, um, as this thing is playing, you'll see, the, you'll see the frames moving just a little bit to simulate a little bit of motion with the video. During my scene that I rendered, this dead scene, this no escape, if you watch back and forth, there's a little bit of video wobble. So that works out pretty well. And the color matching is actually pretty good too. Uh, one thing you will notice though, is there is a drop shadow. See that on the text? There's just a slight black drop shadow. I did not do that, and it's really easy to see that mine was overlaid. So we need to fix that. Let's go back to edit. Back in here. Go back, grab our text, and we'll use a text backdrop. Nope, not a backdrop, sorry. Shadow, border, and shadow. So we're gonna go ahead and use a quick shadow 
and uh, we'll just use a regular basic shadow. You can see it kind of over here, and you can do a whole bunch of things. You can change sort of the edging on it and some other stuff, but um, you can sit and play with this all day long. All right, no shadow. You can kind of look over at the preview window and see what's going on. All right, so we could use something like that. We'll go with black. Right, and that's probably, let's video, well, we can't really video ahead. I'm thinking that that's probably a bit ambitious. So let's turn this down just a bit. Okay, that's probably closer. Let's even take it down just a little bit more. The edging is very subtle. Well, let's see. All right, let's try that. Okay, so now let's take a look here. So we go from no escape with a drop shadow, that's interesting with the drop shadow. The text is bigger, so you have to be a little more pronounced when it's big. But that sounds good. Now let's go render that out again, and we'll test it out. The preview window is great, but it's not really what you're seeing. Smart render again. Notice it goes really fast until it gets to an area you change, and then it slows down and re-renders. Pretty cool, huh? All right. So now let's take another look. That's not too bad. I mean, listen, it's, uh, you know, it's living room work. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, you could sit here and dink with this thing all day and, and try to match that. Of course, we're using, if we could put a little bit of film grain on top of that, right? Because this looks a little filmy. This looks nice and clean like we just added it, right? So let's see, just for fun. What the heck? We're already in here. Let's go to edit. And uh, I don't know if we can actually put film grain on a title. I've never done that before. Um, we could change it to a graphic, right? We could convert this into uh, an animation. And then with the animation, we could definitely overlay some form of special effect. Um, some faction of, uh, uh, not necessarily sepia tone, but some sort of pops and clicks, right? We could put some old film type stuff on there. We could definitely put a little bit of grain on there, put a texture, um, but you know, that may be going outside the, uh, the boundaries of this discussion, uh, but that looks pretty good. I'm not unhappy with that, right? So let's do this. Let's go ahead and we're going to clone this guy again. We're going to copy and we're going to bring this back uh, here, right? Because we have something else we need to do. Uh, no, we're fine here. So let's, oops this thing zoom too much all right so let's grab no escape so we need to get rid of that problem at the beginning right yeah we need to we need to deal with that so again we could do the fade but uh, what a pain in the butt right so um, let's just go ahead and grab this we'll put it right at the beginning um, of course we don't need no escape so of course <laughs> you're gonna need the reference material from the original uh, film fortunately I happen to have that unless you happen to want to translate Spanish and that's not for me. So I will bring up, uh, I will bring up the original film, which I am um, saying, where did I put that? I actually have a copy from my own DVD. Uh, let's see here. Just a second. This is, I was not prepared to do this for the video, but yeah, why not? We're here, right? So, all right. So I've got the film here, and then there's all sorts of American branding and stuff on here. I don't know if that was cut off, so we don't need to hear this. Don't want to trip YouTube's video thing either. Okay, so here we go. This is what we're looking for right there. Pause it. Shrink it. All right, I'm going to put this on my second screen. Uh, you can take a look. Um, but I've already got the color and I've got the font, right? So that's pretty good. So I'm already in here. I'm going to go ahead and add this content in the year 2022. We'll fix all the spacing. The international prison system is operated by private corporations. Criminals from all over the world are exploited at a profit. Prisons have become big 
business. Okay, so I misspelled. I, I was doing fine. All right, so let's grab this. And see, now you also notice that it does some snapping for you. Obviously, this font is way too big for what we're looking for. So let's, uh, I'm just ballparking it here. Let's try 32, center, center. Perfect. All right. So let's get, uh, all right, so there's the overlay. It's uh, still too big, right? So we'll grab this text. We're going to shrink it a little bit more. And there's, uh, yeah, there's an extra line. Okay, so we're going to change some of the spacing in here. There we go. So we tighten it up a little bit. That looks pretty good. So let's grab this guy. And again, we're going to go ahead and center it over the top of the other text. Looks great. <clears throat> so again, what we need is we need some black. Right? So where am I going to get? Ugh, the transition's too perfect. We don't want to use pure black, right? There we go. That's a spot right in there that I could snake the black. And again, you're saying, why not just insert a black background? Well, the back, this isn't perfectly black, right? It's this black, right? So there, there we go. There we got a nice, nice dark space right in there. So I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to grab a swatch of black. And I don't want Ray's name in there, right? So we're going to split that. We're going to grab this black. We're going to copy it. And for our overlay track, this will go on top of the video. That's why we're using the overlay track, right? So I'm going to go ahead and take that, and for this we can do it. We can do this another way. Again, let's mute the audio. We're going to grab this, and we're just going to copy it a handful of times. Again, this is going to give us sort of the illusion that the video is still moving in the background, when in reality we're just chaining a couple of these together, right? So this is another way you can do it. So let's see how far out do we have to do this. To right, to right. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we got a ways to go here. So this is where the ending is. So I'm going to place a carrot right here. All right. And so it needs to go all the way out to there. So we're going to have to be a little more creative, right? So how about we copy all of those? There we go. That works better. Get us out there. This is kind of cool. If we do it in segments, we can just chop a couple of them off. There we go. And so we need to get rid of you, you, and you. All right. Sweet. All right. So let's see what we got here. All right. Did I spell everything right? No, I spelled corporations wrong. How, how dare you guys not uh, fix? tell me about this one? In order to exploit it at a profit, prisons have become big business. Let's make sure we're still centered here. Good. All right. Prisons have become big business. Perfect. All right. Now we got game. Now, we did have a fade in at the beginning of this thing, right? So uh, we didn't probably get to actual text. We can clear our overlay track here and turn it off. So when did we get text in? Right about there, right? So let's go ahead and grab this text track and move it down to right about anywhere's fine. It's close. We're not looking to uh, make a masterpiece here. We're just doing some basic editing. Okay, we turn the overlay track back on. Nice. All right. This will probably be really good when we have some sound. All right. And so we pop it off. It goes to the next piece. Ray Liotta. Oh, wait a minute. What happened there? Hang on. Drag that up. There we go. You're probably saying, man, that's on there a long time, but that's how long the original one was. And then fade in with the TriStar. All right. Cool.
All right, so what we need to do now is adjust our starting and end point for our project uh, preview, right? So we're going to move that all the way to the end. And again, we're only going to catch like up to right about there. Perfect. Let's share it. And again, we've got this all the way to the beginning. And let's create a render for the preview. I notice it's going a little slower because it's got to render everything for us. By the way, this is how bad the DVD looks. Look at that. That. Blah, blah, blah. Render, render, render. Okay, it's getting to the stuff it's already rendered before. Okay. So, let's take a look. Oops, sorry. Let's restart that for the purposes of... There's some sound back here, I do believe. Oh, no, no sound. You gotta see it all together. Did I hear a clip of audio back there? Yeah, that was weird, right? I'm not going to worry about it, but there's something in there that's a little bit funky. Maybe we forgot to turn the audio off on one of the clips or something. So it's overlapping just a tad. So we got the audios all off on that. So what we could do is just, um, oh, you know what? It's right here. This is the one. I didn't turn the audio off on this one. Mute it. All right, do you guys want to see if I was right? If I'm not just being weird? Let's do another quick render. You guys don't think I'm cuckoo. Again, if you're shooting for perfection, you want to do these sorts of things. There we go, the smart render caught up. Perfect. All right. Let's check it out. I bet that clip's not there now. That was weird. Oops, let's go back. Now, would it behoove us to fade that out? Probably. Every, all these other credits fade in and out, right? They, they pop in quick and then fade out. Pop in quick and fade out. We could do that. I'm not going to for the purposes of this demo. Okay, let's listen. There we go. Nice. I'm much happier now. All right, perfect. Well, there you have it. Um, we have replaced all the Spanish at the beginning of this. We've changed out the uh, title of the movie. Now, granted, it's not always going to be that easy, but this was an interesting experiment all the same. And uh, I figured you guys would want to see it. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, I'm using Corel's Video Studio 2018, and I used uh, PaintShop Pro 2018 a little bit, too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, feel free to subscribe. Come back and check us out anytime. Take care.